Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is our lecture number 14 of electronics theoretical part, and this is the part 3 of feedback amplifier and off amp. Okay, so if you want to watch the previous lecture, you can go through the description box. And I request all of you, uh, you must uh, take this uh, uh, previous lecture to understand the what is off amp and uh, about the concept of the, of this virtual ground and slow rate uh, you must know about the things such that you can understand the application of of him okay so in this video I want to discuss the application of of him there is a dc application like inverting and non inverting amplifier inverting and non inverting adder then differentiator as a subtractor then logarithmic and anti logarithmic amplifier then error amplifier like comparator and smith trigger and finally uh, the ac application like differentiator and integrator so these all things will be covered up in this lecture okay so you can see this is the total uh, electronics syllabus for ms uh, bsc calcutta university for semester the circuit and network semiconductor device and applications bipolar junction transistor field effect transistor regulated power supply and amplifier all discussed in previous lecture you can go through the description there is link is given there and the last uh, three lectures actually covered this uh, uh, feedback amplifier then operational amplifier that is op amp basic theory and in this lecture we want to discuss the application of this op amp so this portion that is this one and this one wants to discuss in this lecture series okay and in our coming session we will be discuss about the multi vibrator and oscillator also okay so stay connected to uh, know about this portion also so let's start today's discussion you can see this is the inverting amplifier before that you must watch this previous lecture to understand of amp you know in this uh, of amp the virtual ground concept says that is the voltage at these two point must be same so this is connected with this ground so this voltage at p point is zero so voltage at a point must be zero so if you uh, consider this current this current cannot through this path because this input impedance of this of amp that is our, uh, uh, ideal case so this will be infinite and uh, so this is this input impedance is very high so the current pass through this path is very negligible so the current passing through that path so what happened this KBL uh, says the VI and this poten potential is 0. So VI minus 0, VI minus 0 by RI that is the current and this must be equal to 0 minus VO output voltage by RA. So VI minus VA, VA is 0 and uh, VO minus 0 by RF. So finally you will get VO by VI equals to like that. So output voltage is inverted uh, with the input voltage the output voltage vo is equals to some uh, negative into vi so this voltage is inverted that's why this is called inverting port and denoted by negative and this ampli amplification is known as inverting amplification clear in case of the non-inverting amplification you must uh, put the input in this port in this port that is uh, port number three in of ic741 and this is connected with this ground so uh, due to ground uh, virtual ground concept these two potential must be equal so this is vi means this is vi so if we consider this current flow that is 0 minus vi by r1 current is 0 minus v1 by r1 equals to uh, vi vi minus vo by r vi minus vo by r so this is minus vi by r1 and this is vi minus vo by r so if you rearranging them you can easily find out this v o is proportional to vi that there is a positive part so one plus rf by r this is the voltage gain so you can see that is the output voltage is not, not in the same phase of this input voltage that's why this is called non-inverting amplifier that is the phase is does not change and this is denoted as a plus so this is uh, inverting amplifier denoted as a minus port number two and port number three does not change in this phase that is the non-inverting amplifier go to the next one next one is the uh, inverting adder adder means the output will be added up the voltage you can see this structure this 
uh, inverting port and this is the potential connected with this uh, resistance like that so this uh, virtual ground concept the potential at a point must be equal to b point that is the zero the potential at that point is zero so this current i1 plus i2 is must be equal to this current so this i0 that is nothing but 0 minus vo by rf equals to v1 minus 0 by r1 v2 minus 0 by r2 and so on so finally you can see that is v uh, v0 by rf equals to like that when v r1 equals to r2 equals to rn equals to rf then these are cancel out and you will be get this v0 equals to summation of this input voltage with a negative sign that's why this is called the inverting adder the output is the added up the input voltage with the opposite phase or the out of phase that's why is, this is called inverting adder next thing next thing is the non inverting adder next thing is the non inverting adder if you uh, if you uh, consider this circuit you can see uh, here, here this uh, input voltage is like that v1 v2 v and like that and this corresponding uh, this is minus and plus must be this is negative and this is positive inverting a uh, non inverting port so you can see that is uh, that is vb equals to va equals to vi and this current equals to 0 minus vi by r1 equals to vi minus v0 by rf so v0 equals to 1 plus v r2 1 plus rf by r1 vi so what is vi vi is nothing but the voltage corresponding this to v1 v2 vm and vi equals to this uh, voltage due to 1 due to 2 due to 3 due to n etc for one you can see that is the v1 into uh, this r r1 uh, r2 r3 that is the other part of this voltage by total resistance other resistance in the parallel connection and this one so you will be get v1n input 1 then v input 2 this is 1 v input 1 similarly for v input 2 and sum up this thing you will be get vi so if you put this value you will be get this positive there is no negative sign that's why this is non-inverting adder okay the input voltage is added up here but within the positive sign there is no case difference next thing is the differentiator as a substructure that's mean the output will be the difference of the input voltage you can see this structure this uh, this current i1 is nothing but v1 minus this point voltage is taken as v so v1 minus v by r1 and this is v minus v0 by r2 so uh, you can re rearrange them v1 by r1 minus v by r1 and this thing finally you get v into r1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 equal to v1 by r1 plus v0 by r2 in case of this current i2 is nothing but v2 by v uh, by r1 equals to v minus 0 by r2 so finally you will be get v2 by r1 minus v by r1 equal to v by r2 so v uh, multiplied with this thing you will be get v2 by r1 so finally you will be get this two uh, these two things that is the uh, this one so you will be get uh, from 1 and 2 you can see left hand side is same so out right hand side equating and you will be get the output is like that if you are r1 equals to r2 the output voltage equals to v2 minus v1 so this output voltage is the difference or of, of these two voltage so uh, the mathematical operation if you wants to difference of two voltage you can use this circuit that's why this of m is known as the um, operational amplifier because it's done some mathematical operation okay so the uh, addition subtraction also operated by this of m next is the logarithmic amplification logarithmic also find out how if you consider this circuit you can see this current is nothing but the uh, diode current forward current in the forward voltage so this is forward current and this expression will be like that where is is the reverse saturation current and you know this f is the forward voltage and the kvt is the thermal conductivity constant uh, kb is the boltzmann's constant t is the temperature thermal constant so this i equals to like that because this person is very much greater than one so for simplification you can see take the uh, logarithmic in the both side you will be get this forward voltage so you like that and this forward voltage is nothing but the negative of the output voltage so the output voltage is negative of these things so you can see this uh, input voltage is log of the output voltage uh, 
uh, so output voltage is, is the logarithmic of the input voltage that's why this is called logarithmic amplifier next thing is the anti anti logarithmic amplifier next thing is the anti logarithmic amplifier if you just interchange this diode and resistance if you uh, just interchange this diode and resistors you will be get the anti logarithmic amplifier so this uh, current is nothing but the vi minus this zero uh, by resistance uh, and so this output is nothing but if rf this current equals like that so i have put this value you will be get this thing so this output voltage is nothing but the anti log that is the exponential of input voltage that's why this is called anti logarithmic amplifier next thing is the error amplifier that is the voltage comparator suppose you have a voltage in this inverting amplifier in inverting port is vr that is the reference voltage vr is the reference voltage you can say this is nothing but the reference voltage here is the nothing but the reference voltage uh, so the open loop condition that is ab tends to infinite so v1 greater than equals to vr so vo equals to vo and when this input voltage this v1 or vi this is vi you can say this is nothing but this vi this input voltage must be uh, when this input voltage is greater than vr the output voltage is positive part when this is a negative uh, v less than vr reference then the output voltage is negative v this is an open uh, condition uh, open loop condition so this v that is the operating voltage will be like that so you can see in if you apply this ac signal you can see when this voltage is vr greater than then output is plus v and this is less than this is minus v okay so the output is uh, plus v and minus v depending upon this reference voltage whether this input voltage is greater than reference voltage or this less than reference voltage then this will be the difference like that okay so this is the voltage comparator the output is uh, depending uh, where, uh, where where the input is uh, some uh, uh, what the input is greater than uh, of some reference voltage or less than this will be determined by this circuit and next thing is the smith trigger this is very important uh, for your examination that is the forward voltage is nothing but if you consider this potential at that point how will you find using this uh, supervision theorem that is when you consider this is zero so that potential will be nothing but the v0 r1 by r1 plus r2 and in the reverse one if we consider this one zero and we are cons uh, con con considered then uh, this potential at that point will be like that very simple so if you added up these two things you will be get the potential at that point using superposition theorem clear in the first chapter i think you understand about the superposition theorem very clearly now if you, this input voltage is very much less than vf if the input voltage is very much less than vf the saturation will be v0 that is called va so uh, when this potential is less than vf the saturation is va but <coughs> and the corresponding vf value will be added up these two things you will be take and as this v1 this voltage is v1 now this uh, when this input voltage is greater than v1 what happened the v0 is minus va so this uh, va will be negative so the taken as the v2 so this is the v2 value okay in the reverse one when this taken as so when this value at 22 it's uh, less than that one is uh, trigger up so you can say this is a hysteresis loss this is a different path there is a hysteresis loss here so if you want to find out this difference the difference will be like that okay so this actually happened due to slew rate you know about the slew rate in the uh, first chapter we'll discuss i think previous lecture will be discussed about the slew rate so this is about smith structure uh, smith trigger that is the uh, in the forward this is triggering at v1 in the reverse this triggering at v2 and there is a gap between v1 and v2 that is the hysteresis loss next is the ac application these are things ac application alternative current application ac application this is the differentiator and next one is the integrator you can see this is the circuit of a differentiator 
now the charge in this capacitor will be q equal to c v1 uh, so v1 equals to q by c if you derivative this thing the q by dt is nothing but i and i is nothing but minus v0 by r so the output voltage is nothing but the differentiation of the input voltage that's why this is called differentiator the output voltage is the differentiation the, the derivative of the input voltage that's why this is called differentiator and next in the integrator if you consider this circuit you can see this current is nothing but vi minus 0 by r and this is dq by dt and q equal to c uh, v0 but this voltage difference is 0 minus v0 that's why this minus v0 so finally we get vi by r and this is c v0 by c because c is constant with respect to time so this integration of vi dt you will be get this with output so output is nothing but the integration of this input voltage okay so this is all about the application of the of them according to our syllabus we will be completed up in the next class will be discussed about the moderator this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can connect with me with this telegram channel this is my online platform and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get defined facilitated video some mathematical parts also like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends either he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you are new in this channel those already subscribed thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet you in the next video as soon as possible thank you